So what is going on dammers, my name is Meho and welcome to your fourth Angular 6 tutorial in which you're going to take a look at what decorators are in Angular and basically in JavaScript only because decorators is in stage 2 proposal for ECMAScript and it would be soon in the spec. So decorators would be the part of official standard soon but right now since we are making use of it in our angular project so i'm gonna just stick to that and uh, let's just see what decorators are okay so um in this tutorial what we're gonna cover is about decorators and what exactly is a decorator how um, a decorator is pretty much just a function wrapping another function or a class and then doing some sort of manipulations with it and returning the original function but after decorating it hmm. okay so um, next thing we're going to take a look at is how decorators make your code easy to read and maintain which is obvious thing that's why it's called a decorator right so here we have our app.component.ts and you can see that component right here is a decorator provided by angular so we're not gonna we're not gonna um, mess with this component decorator but we're gonna create our own decorator now for decorators to work you need to set up in your javascript projects you need to set up babel separately but since we're making use of angular Angular already contains all the configuration for that in built baked so we do not need to worry about that decorators will be supported in our component files so let's just create a very small decorator let's just create a function which is just a log function now what a decorator receives is a target which is the target function or class on which you're actually working name the name of that function or class and the descriptor okay so um, let's just first of all log all of these so we can take a look at what all of these are right and how to make use of a dis decorator well just go ahead and write at the rate log just like this component is written and in the next line we'll write our function so let's just say this is a simple method we just console logs uh, hey there simple as that right and now if we take a look in the browser you can see that we get um, this as the target name this as the name and this as the function Okay, so with that being done, uh, what we can do is that now we can start manipulating this uh, log method. So the simplest way to do that is to actually override the function which is being called. So you can see that uh, the descriptor, if we take a look the, at this object, the descriptor.value is actually the original function. And if we modify the descriptor.value and return the descriptor from this um, decorator, what happens is that that becomes the function which is being called. So in most cases, what you want is store the original function in a variable, right? Do some manipulations with descriptor.value function which is the function which will be finally executed and then return the descriptor this would be our flow right so what we're gonna do first of all let's just say this is our original function which is descriptor.value right so this original contains our original function now what I want to do is do some manipulations with descriptor.value so I'm gonna create this as a new function and what I'm gonna say um, this function function f u n c t i o n was hacked something like this and ignore the typos and 
uh, what we have in here is that now this function is overridden overwritten with this console log statement and what we can do is just return this descriptor now so what happens now when we call this method well, let's just see so if i call this dot a simple method here inside my constructor take a look in the browser you can see that i get this function was hacked instead of getting hey there call so you can see i'm calling this function when i call this function this decorator kicks in tries to modify something but instead of modifying we just overwrite the function definition itself right so if instead of doing this if i do something like um original right and see here you can see that we get hey there and hey there two times because um, first time we are calling this inside the function itself and second time we are returning that function which is actually being called so if we just do something like this it should console log hey there just once as you can see okay so what's the use case of this well um if we move back to our powerpoint actually so we saw that what exactly is a decorator it just helps you to wrap some code a function or a class inside another function which does some useful stuff and returns the original one we're going to take a look at an example soon now how it just wraps the code and uh, makes code easier to read and maintain you can see that if you create a particular log function here which logs all the arguments and the result of this function then you can pretty much um, just use this decorator anywhere so let's just quickly create this function sounds like a good idea so if i do something like descriptor dot value is a function with arguments passed i don't know what arguments were passed so i'm going to say that my result of this function is the original function and i just want to pass in the arguments here inside original function and what i want to do is uh, once i get that i just want to say a console log arguments were passed in this function right and actually let's just do something like this so that uh, we actually run this function inside the context of that function itself and the second argument we can specify the arguments as an array so uh, we console log the statement arguments were passed in this function or you can just console log the result of the function is and then we can just go ahead and type result here all right looks fine looks fine let's just see and what we can do in here is that we can say something like um, a simple method a which uh, just squares this and i can say console log this dot simple method a and five and we can just see here this statement was generated by the constructor okay everything looks good let's just see how this looks like so we can just comment this out reload i can see that we get arguments five were passed which is actually the number we passed right so uh, this is an array of elements which is passed so we are using the structuring of the arguments so if i do something like a and b right here and if i do like five and two uh, something like this and if i save this you can see that i get the output as argument five and two were passed in this function the result of the function is not a number okay so uh result of the function is not a number oh okay so we are missing 
an apply function call here well that was stupid but anyways so when we apply this now we are using this value of this function we're binding the original functions this to this and then we're passing the arguments which we received so you can see that the result of the function now is 10 the statement generated by the constructor is still undefined because we are not returning the result from our descriptor updated function right so remember that once we um, change this function what executes when we call this thing is this function right here and not the original function right so this function makes use of the properties of original function but remember that this function is the one which is executed the scripted dot value executes the original function stores the result and then console logs it okay so what we have in here is the types of decorators now right now javascript just supports two types of decorators over class decorators and member decorators so what we have been doing so far is an example of a member decorator so you can see that i wrote a decorator here and a function just under it and also a point that um, your decorator should be followed immediately by the class or the function you're writing so you cannot have a uh, difference like function a between that it would not work you can see that we get an error which says that decorators are not valid here so just make sure your decorator is just above your class or function over which you want to apply it so once we're done with this you can see that this is an example of a member decorator for class decorators what we have is we can apply this decorator directly to the class itself as well and you can apply multiple decorators as well so so we need to make some changes to our log function and let's just make some let's just get rid of all of that and replace this as the class name right so now if i console log this class name and hit save and remove this decorator from here and take a look in the browser we see that we get actually we get a function because basically classes in javascript is just a syntactic sugar for functional prototype inheritance so yeah that makes sense this is a function which is app component and contains um, the body for constructor right so what we want to do is actually mess around with um, this class now so what we can do is we can now return a function which has its own arguments and what this function is that we can first of all let's just see um, uh, arguments pass to this um, class class constructor r and then the arguments and then we can actually just return the initialization of the class itself so we're going to say new class name and the arguments we have in here now obviously i just don't want to use this decorator with this class what we can do is actually create our own class right here a little one i can say class uh my example class right and i can say something like if you take a look okay let's just continue um if i say something like constructor arg1 arg2 console.log received uh, or let's just say constructor fired here and now if i do something like uh, const my 
class is new example class and 5 and 10 in here okay so the code looks fine but it says that uh, it's unable to resolve the signature of class decorator when called as an expression hmm let's just see in the browser what we have argument passed to this class constructor out to 510 um, this looks fine constructor fired looks fine the statement was generated is fine but i'm not sure why uh, the linter is throwing this warning or error or whatever this is unable to resolve signature of class decorator when called as an expression okay i am not really sure i'll check this and would get back to you in the next tutorial if i um, get to know why this warning is being thrown because our code is working fine and essentially what's that's what really matters but i'm not sure why this is throwing some sort of warning um it's usually it's i guess related with typescript or something so anyways so this is how pretty much you decorate a class right so now you can see that when i call this my class what we get is that argument passed to this class constructor r510 constructor fired and uh, basically yeah we are just returning the class after doing some logging with it so you can essentially relate with the angular counterpart that this component fires before this class is um, exported right and then this selector then this component decorator does a lot of things like it will replace the html let's just say the render function of this class with the html contents by getting the html out of this file it will add some styles to this class uh, class html with the style urls property it would add all of that to the selector inside the dom so you can see that it makes your life much easier you do not have to explicitly write everything every time in every component so that is essentially how decorators work with javascript mainly and with angular as well in our case and yeah that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications